Hello, I am the member of government for today's debate topic, the United States federal government uh, should pass Medicare for all. And uh, the first thing I wanna do is remind you guys of a couple of things that the PMC made. Um, the first argument was that uh, millions of Americans are either underinsured or uninsured. Uh, and if they get hit with an illness or sickness, uh, they cannot afford it. And because they can't afford it, they will be suffering um, devastating losses, both financially and physically. Um, another argument I want to remind you guys of was that currently we are paying twice as much um, for healthcare as other single payer systems, um, which means logically we would be saving money if we switched to a single payer system like Medicare for All. Um, and the last argument I want to remind you guys of is that uh, if we switch to Medicare for All, uh, we would be improving, improving the quality of healthcare as well as reducing the cost uh, and increasing the coverage amongst Americans. All right, so a couple of arguments that the negative made, first of which uh, was that uh, Medicare for All would limit the availability of doctors and treatments. Um, and while that is true, while increasing a lot of patients uh, would increase the wait times, uh, it would also increase the demand for doctors. And if we got more doctors into the, uh, the healthcare system, uh, that would end up equalizing and decreasing wait times. Um, and the second argument that the negative made uh, was that tens of thousands of people from single payer countries um, are dying because of the lack of healthcare. Um, so what I have to say to this is that yes, tens of thousands of people in other systems, but currently for the United States, it is 45,000 people a year uh, that are dying due to a lack of healthcare, um, which is the same amount. So there's tens of thousands of people in other systems and tens of thousands of people in America. However, uh, this doesn't even mention the population disparity. Um, so if there's 360 million Americans, um, this is just America, not all of the other countries, and I'll just pick one, for example, India, uh, which has a population of like 1.38 billion, uh, which is three times that of America, which means that America has the same amount of losses as 1.38 billion for one country, not to mention the other countries, like all the other countries like Canada, Australia, um, that all have single payer systems. So technically, uh, our current system is losing more lives than single payer countries, all the other single, uh, single payer countries combined. Um, all right, the last argument I want to remind you guys of is that um, the negative argued that the Medicare for all would cost $32 trillion. Uh, and while that is a lot of money, it is an inaccurate estimate. Um, so if you take $32 trillion and divide it among 360 million Americans, that comes to roughly $90,000 per American that we're spending on healthcare. Uh, which I don't know about you guys, but I do not spend $90,000 on my health care. Um, so $32 trillion, I don't know where that number came from, but it is a very inaccurate estimate. All right, the last thing I want to do is, um, here's a separate argument um, for Medicare for All. So Medicare for All would actually increase the amount of jobs. Um, for example, so if there's a lot of people coming into the healthcare system, um, that would increase the, uh, the demand for like construction workers building a lot of hospitals, um, not to mention when those hospitals are built, increases, and I mentioned this earlier, increases the demand for doctors, but not only the doctors, the nurses, the secretaries, and even like maintenance workers such as um, like janitors and, and security guards and electricians and stuff like that. So increase it, it would uh, increase the demand for a lot of jobs and provide a lot of jobs for um, Americans, which is a good thing. Um, yeah.